Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11. For today I'm gonna be a bit more quiet because I have roommates here who may be trying to get some sleep for their flights tomorrow. So shout out to Batch 43 and Batch 47. You guys are the best. And hopefully I don't wake you guys up. And hopefully you guys perform well in your flights tomorrow. Anyway, so for this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating a teardrop entry into a standard holding. So let's say we're being asked to hold on radial 060 from our current LOP which is inbound 180. So 2DME is coming up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my course tail to 060 which is our desired radial to hold on just gonna try and stabilize the aircraft as we do. Okay, at 1 DME, I'm gonna twist the heading bug over to my entry heading of 030 because that's 30 degrees inside the holding pattern. So now, here comes 1 DME. I'm going to switch over my heading bug over to 030. There it is. And now we wait till we fly over the VOR. Now, 0.7 DME right now. Now, since we're within 1 DME of the VOR, I'm not gonna try and follow the RMI directly. I'm just gonna let it flip because if I try to follow it, it might, uh, might move very quickly. So it's going to flip. The HSI flag is going to change as well. And there's the flip, there's the change of flag. I'll let the reading stabilize just for a little bit. And turn. <clears throat> so now we turn, try to go standard rate. Turn turning, timer standby, twist ready twisted, throttle mediated 5500. Talk, nothing to say. I'm just gonna hold my heading here. Upon the heading, timer starts one minute. So now I'm just gonna fly along on this heading for about one minute. Trying to hold our altitude and our airspeed at 90 knots. So far, so good. Now, in uh, a real life application, you probably will be encountering quite a bit of wind. So if you do, there will be a magenta diamond over here, which will come out and give you your corrected course, which you could put onto the heading bug, and that will be where the plane goes. So at 50 seconds, I'm going to rotate the heading bug over to heading 240, but to the right to indicate our direction of turn like so. There it is, heading 240. And then at one minute, right now, we're gonna turn all over to the right. So let's see if we can maintain our altitude and our airspeed as we make our turn. So we make our turn and we go turn, turning. Timer, reset. Twist the right, twist it, throttle maintaining 5,500. And talk, nothing to say. Let's maintain a standard rate of turn but in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to maintain a half standard rate for a few moments just so that we don't have to make too big of a correction as we come in Let's see if we can maintain our altitude for now okay so far so good Half standard should do. Okay, now I'm just gonna hold my heading for now just for a few moments. Okay, maybe a half standard rate. At this point, I'm now looking at the RMI and how close the head is from the head of the HSI just to gauge when the HSI needle starts to move. And as it does, needle alive, let's go for a standard rate of turn now. There it is, standard rate of turn. Nice and easy. Maybe half standard for a little bit and now on to standard. 
Okay, so maybe I'll overshoot a little bit. If that's the case, we'll make a correction. So here we are, it's off. Turn it off to the right. Just a little bit, not too big or anything. Just enough to make the needle come back. Now, once that needle centers, we will have intercepted inbound a radial 060. And we, can, we are now in the holding pattern. So to execute our holding pattern, 2DME, which we've already passed, check that the course is rotated in the proper direction, and it is 1DME, we will rotate the heading bug to a heading of 060. And then over the VOR, we will make the turn off to the right. right. Let's see if we can just get that needle to come back to the center as we close into the VOR. Okay, one DME. Should have uh, switched that over. There we go. Let's put it to zero six zero. There we go. Let's get our altitude back up. Okay, I'm not gonna try to follow the deflection. I'm just gonna let it stay there. And there goes the flip. There goes the change of flag. I'll let the reading stabilize for a few moments. Okay, that looks about stabilized. I'm now gonna turn to the right. Here we go, 180 degrees. So standard rate of turn, turn, turning. Timer standby. Twist ready, twisted, throttle, maintaining 5,500. Talk, nothing to say. So we're just going to continue on this turn as we do. Now, when we arrive at the heading, hopefully we can arrive at the same time the flag flips again. Because when we start, when we see the flag flip, that'll be the markers to when we start the timer. So we're just going to continue turning here, standard rate of turn. Okay, we are approaching the heading, and as we can see, the uh, RMI is still above our 90 degree point, so that's fine. We're just gonna let it come back down once we see the flag flip. Okay, here it comes. Stand by. Once the flag, and there's the flag flip, and timer starts. Okay, so now we're going to continue on this heading for a while. Okay, at 50 seconds, I'll switch the uh, heading bug over to heading uh, 240. 60 seconds, we'll make the turn 180 degrees off to the right. Okay, 50 seconds, let's turn our heading bug over to 240. And one minute, turn. So now, turn, turning. Timer reset. Twist ready, twisted. Throttle maintaining 5,500 and talk. And just say, now, what we're gonna try to do is try to intercept the radio. So we're gonna hope that by the time we finish the turn, our HSI is centered. So basically we're applying basic interception at this time. So let's see what we can do here. I'll flip, we'll try to see if we can make a turn. There we go, there goes the needle. Ok, 
Okay, let's see if we can arrive at the same time. If not, then it's okay, we'll just make a little correction. Let's make a correction. Oh, that's a bit too fast over there. That was a bit sudden there. Oh well. Alright, let's see here. Let's make that needle nice and centered before we return it back to 240. And now we are on the inbound leg again. And if we look at the map, we can see that we performed a teardrop entry into a standard holding. So, if you found that video useful, hopefully, uh, you may consider giving a like and subscribe because I'll be posting more of these short scenario videos in the future. Maybe I can do a parallel entry in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching. And uh, to my roommates who hopefully I didn't wake up, uh, good luck in your flights tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.